Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So here he is, the former UFC interim lightweight champion, Tony Ferguson. And here's a guy who a lot of these fellow lightweights believe represents the toughest matchup for them. Just hard to know what's coming. Truly a five-tool player. And he will look to put all those skills to good use yet again here tonight. I mean, you point to the Josh Thompson fight, the beautiful elbow that he landed to split him open. And it shows you the diversity of Tony Ferguson. And you have to remember, he was a national champion at Grand Valley State University. Right. So if he needs to, he can be a guy that has the ability to take you down and just brutalize you on the ground. Not only brutalize you, but he has a great ability to submit his opponents as he showed when he won the title fight, Kevin Lee. And he is most happy when he's in a fight, right? Certainly a guy who loves to train as is well documented. Just the way he attacked the knee injury rehabilitation just shows you his true colors. And I know I speak for the MMA fans around the world. Very happy to see El Kukui back in the octagon here tonight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, 6 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Orange County, California, Tony El Kukui Ferguson! And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. You ready? Are right, you ready? All right, so here we go. The weight and the height gives away the action right here on one side. Maybe the division's most well-rounded fighter taking on arguably the biggest submission threat in the stage. Because he's such a great submission grappler, I believe that this is the most dangerous fight for him in the division. Wow. He needs to maintain his space, stay away from this guy at all costs, and force him to stand up for him. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jab. Big leg kick land. Able to check the high kick. Nice connection there by Tony Ferguson. You're probably glad you never had to prepare for a fighter like this in your day. I've never seen anything like that, and I'm not sure there's anyone like that going up in the weights. Tony Ferguson does not give you any idea of what you're facing. When you're in there, you're confused. He doesn't give you any type of pattern inside the octagon. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. 
loaded up on that right hand, too. Very nice leg kick there by Lee. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for El Kukui, Tony Ferguson. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. Oh, he hurt him bad with the jab. Oh, hook to the head by Tony Ferguson. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. I am starting to lose track of how many punches this guy has landed to the head of his opponent. Beautiful hook. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. He's got the turtle in that kick. Oh, nice hook by him there. How many times can this young man land this particular punch? And he landed the right hand there. That kick blocked by Ferguson. He can truly do it all. Ferguson not having it. Stays upright. And they set. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down. And try Whoa! To get Round two is up next. Oh, what a way to end the round. Saved by the bell. He got stunned by a huge shot right before the horn. And now, a little bit gingerly, he makes his way back to the stool. And he's only got 60 seconds to recover here, so we'll see if his corner, physically, mentally, can keep this fighter in the fight. That last round's over. He took his best shots and smiled back at him. Now it's your turn. We have to go. You ready? You ready? Let's go fight! Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations... Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Now we're just going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> we got to whip his hip into that kick. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. Oh! oh. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Wow! And you hear the crowd react every time they come together because they understand the power that these guys are striking with. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Oh! And he comes through with a big knee. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh! He needs to start looking for finish. Oh! Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just
just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 33 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Tony Akakui. Thank you for watching. Please wait for more videos. See you soon.